Hello, this is Dr. Alan Franklin with Victory Hearing and Balance Center here in South Austin. Uh, what we're looking to cover today in this short video is changing wax traps on both behind the ear and in the ear hearing aids. Uh, bear with us, we're going to swap this video in the middle here so you can see more closely uh, what I'm working with. Uh, while there are many shapes and sizes of wax traps, I'm going to show you the two most common that we use here at Victory Hearing and Balance Center here in Austin. Uh, the first of which, well, let's talk about a receiver in the ear micro style BTE. This is a very common style of hearing aid used today. This particular one is from a Swiss hearing aid company named Phonak. Now the wax trap itself is contained at the end of the little receiver here. Now we actually have two pieces to worry about here, the first of which is this non-custom flexible dome sitting on the end here. That can be removed by pinching the tip of the dome and pulling the dome off. Now most of the time in this particular design, wax blocks up the uh, passageway there. The wax is actually trapped inside the dome. The dome can be cleaned very easily. I usually recommend the use of a wire loop tool just like this. The dome can be cleaned very easily by inserting the wire loop tool in the end of the dome and cleaning it out like such. Uh, frankly, a paper clip works just fine for cleaning out these domes as well. Now secondly, at the end of the receiver, I'm not sure if you can see this on camera, but you have a very small uh, white basket on the end here, this is the wax trap in question. Now, the wax traps, this particular type of wax trap comes in a case like such. You first open up the case, revealing lots of tools. We take one of those tools. You'll see on one side of the tool has a new white filter tip. The other side of the tool has a very little hook. The hook is used to remove the old filter. I'm going to take that little hook and I'm going to push it right into the center of the wax trap. Ideally, when I pull, the wax trap comes out with the tool. So now we have no trap on the end here. We take the tool, turn it around, push the new trap directly into the hole, and remove. The wax trap stays in the receiver. We've just replaced the wax trap on this hearing aid. We can then slide the dome back on the tip just like so. A similar arrangement from another receiver in the ear style hearing aid is this guy right here from a, another hearing aid called, or excuse me, hearing aid company called Oticon. Once again, non-custom dome on the end. We pinch just the very tip and remove. The new filters in this case come in a case just like this. We remove one of the tools just like the Phonak product. One side of the tool has a new filter. The other side of the tool has a hook to remove the old filter. We'll take the side with no no filter on it, just the hook, and we push that directly into the existing filter. We pull, removing the old filter. We turn the tool around, push the new filter down into the hole, and remove. And we've just changed the filter, the wax basket, uh, on this Oticon product. The dome itself, we can, just like the other product, we can scoop it out with the wire loop, poke a toothpick through it, whatever you like, uh, and it just slides right back on the tip, right back on the end here. Now the same procedure is used with custom hearing aids uh, that have a wax trap. Not all of them do, but if they do, that same white basket sits right in front of the receiver. There you go. Now this particular one is not the correct wax basket, but I'm showing you for demonstration purposes. If it was, we would take the same tool here, poke, pull to remove the old filter, turn it around, push, and leave the new filter in the custom in the ear device as well. I hope that's been helpful. This is Dr. Alan Franklin with Victory Hearing and Balance Center. 
512-443-3500. Uh, have a good day.